What if there was a way to enhance your ketogenic results just by simply eating some specific foods? I'm gonna share with you five ketogenic foods that's going to enhance your results. I'm talking about more energy, more fat loss, more ketone production, and just having you feel like a rock star. Let's get right into this video. Hey Keto Camper, Ben is out of here, certified functional health practitioner and the founder of Keto Camp. I'm also the best-selling author of books like Keto Flex, Perfect Health Booklet, and a few others. I'm excited to share with you these five ketogenic foods to enhance your results. Whether you feel like you're stuck or you're brand new to keto or you just wanna take your results to another level, I'm gonna give you five foods and some research to back up what I'm gonna share with you today. The first food is going to be MCT oil. MCT stands for medium chain triglycerides. The unique thing about MCTs is that they have the ability to bypass digestion, meaning it does not require stomach acids and bile to break it down, which means it goes right into your cells and tells your mitochondria burn fat, produce ketones. Now there's one specific MCT oil that research has shown enhancement in ketone production. And when you consume this, you could expect your brain to turn on and for you to produce more ketones. And this is called caprylic acid, also called C8 MCT oil. I recommend consuming one to two tablespoons of C8 caprylic acid on a daily basis. You could have it with your foods, you could have it with your beverages. I'm gonna drop down some studies in the show notes so you can see exactly what the studies have shown when it comes to what this does to enhance ketone production. The second keto food, and I got good news from my caffeine drinkers, is coffee. First of all, not all coffee beans are created equal. I would estimate that 90% plus of the coffee beans out there are toxic and actually leading to inflammation in your body. I'm talking about the Dunkin' Donuts, I'm talking about the Starbucks, I'm talking about these commercial chain coffee shops. They have beans that are loaded with pesticides, heavy metals, and even mycotoxins and mold sports. But when you could find a clean source of coffee, not only can it be anti-inflammatory, there is also some research that shows the caffeine in it can enhance ketone production. So here's the hack for you. I mentioned in tip number one, C8 caprylic acid, put that MCT oil, one to two tablespoons, in your cup of clean coffee, let it mix together, and this will be a cocktail for ketone production. And a quick little hack for you when it comes to drinking your coffee, it's important to understand this. The worst time to have your cup of coffee is right when you wake up in the morning. That's because cortisol, that stress hormone, it's already activated in the morning time and that cortisol is a very powerful hormone. And when you consume your cup of coffee with caffeine in combination with having high cortisol levels, that cortisol will render the caffeine useless. Meaning you're gonna want a second cup, third cup, fourth, fifth cup, maybe go for some five hour energies which are toxic and you're not gonna get that effect that you want from the caffeine. But here's the best time to have your cup of coffee. Wait an hour and a half after you wake up which is 90 minutes, cortisol begins to naturally drop down, then have your cup of coffee, boom, they bind together to give you much more bang for your buck, sustainable energy release throughout the day. So have your cup of coffee with MCT oil, C8, an hour after you wake up, and watch what it'll do for your keto results. By the way, my favorite clean source of coffee beans is from Purity Coffee. They have been tested for mold, they're mold-free, heavy metals, heavy metal-free, and pesticide free as well. They're clean, you could find their coffee beans over at ketocampcoffee.com. We also have a 10% off coupon with using the code KETOCAMP, we'll drop a link down below. The third tip is going to be real extra virgin olive oil. Look, I'm a, I'm a big fan of a lot of these healthy fats and cooking oils like coconut oil, avocado oil, even butter, but my favorite by far is real olive oil, even to cook with. There's a lot of misinformation out there saying you cannot cook with real olive oil. I've got news for you. Real olive oil is actually the best oil you could cook with. There was a study done on the top 10 most popular cooking oils. They did the study, I believe in Australia or New Zealand, but I'm gonna reference them down below. And they wanted to do two different trials with all of these oils. Of course, coconut oil was in there, 
avocado oil, grapeseed oil, canola, and olive oil. And they wanted to see smoke point, but also the most important thing they looked at was something called polar compounds. Now, the more polar compounds an oil produces after it's heated, the more inflammatory it is and potentially cancer-causing, which is carcinogenic. And even though olive oil had a lower smoke point, it actually scored the best on this test. And I'm going to drop that study down below so you can check it out. Because although it has a lower smoke point, it is so protected in polyphenols, oleocanthals, antioxidants that it protects it even when it's heated. But the problem, or I should say the challenge, is that 70% plus of the olive oil in your supermarket, it's either cut with an inflammatory fat or it's been sitting there for so long, it's already rancid. So I personally love the Fresh Pressed Olive Oil Club. I'll drop a link for them down below. They gave our uh, keto campers a $39 bottle for a buck. But I love olive oil because it's anti-inflammatory. Shoot, I'll take a shot of olive oil during a fast. It doesn't break a fast. I'll cook with it. I'll use my salad dressings with it. It's a great way to reduce inflammation on keto. So find yourself a clean source of real olive oil, which is first harvest, cold pressed, and watch your keto results take off. The third tip is going to be green leafy vegetables. They are loaded in antioxidants, they're loaded in potassium, and it also helps with the pH balance in your body. It also has fibers and prebiotics, which helps with the diversity in your gut. So the carbs you're getting on keto, I know they're minimal, but the ones that you are eating should all come from green leafy vegetables. Some of my favorite ones that are really anti-inflammatory and better to digest are arugula, which also acts like a bitter, which we're gonna talk about later. Dandelion greens, just a spring mix of veggies. If you cook them, you could break down some of the anti-nutrients as well, but add in green leafy vegetables on a daily basis. Hey, I have one more tip here, then I have two bonus tips for you. If you're getting any value so far, please hit the thumbs up button on this video and subscribe to the Keto Camp YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell so you're notified when we release brand new content. The fifth tip is going to be bitters. Bitters are going to help stimulate your liver, that soccer mom organ, to produce bile to break down fat. And the more you could break down fat, the more efficient you could break down fat, the better you're gonna absorb the vitamins in the fats, the vitamins A, D, E, and K. And a lot of people, number one reason why somebody struggles on keto, sluggish bile. So bitters are going to be arugula. I already mentioned that, but also coffee. I mentioned that as well. Ginger, ginger tea, dandelion greens, apple cider vinegar, radicchio, artichokes, add in the bitters and watch what it'll do for your keto results. You're just gonna feel so much better. Hey, I got two bonus tips for you. First bonus tip is going to be avocados. I love me some avocados. If you're not consuming avocados, here's why you should. It has high amounts of phytosterols, which helps reduce inflammation in your body. A good amount of vitamin B5, which helps support the adrenals and it helps with stress and it tastes damn good. So you could either have avocado, cut it in half, put some sea salt and olive oil as a snack or a meal, put an avocado in your protein shake, gives it a nice consistency, but avocado should be a staple in your ketogenic lifestyle. The final tip is going to be macadamia nuts. I love macadamia nuts even more than almonds. Almonds have a higher omega-6 to omega-3 ratio than we like and high amounts of oxalates, but macadamia nuts, they, have a great nutritional profile, low in oxalates, just word of caution here, they could be really addictive. So grab a handful, put the bag away, but macadamia nuts would be my go-to nut on keto. There you have it, those are seven keto foods to enhance your results. If you wanna learn more about keto, uh, consider joining my 60-minute ketosis masterclass where I deep dive into four ways to master keto and fasting, and for those who attend, you're going to get over $300 worth and free gifts in the form of digital downloads. So head to www.ketosismasterclass.com, register your free spot, and if you haven't watched my 10-part series on keto here on YouTube, click the screen right there, give it a watch, and I'll see you in that next video. Thanks so much for watching.